Hey guys, how you doing? Let's go ahead and talk about using Screencastify in a Google presentation. And let's talk about it twofold and think about it both ways because this could help you and it could help your students. So obviously you're probably doing a lot of slides and giving them to your students. So are they doing it for work? You're putting it inside their Google Classroom and then now the students are looking at it. So you could be using those videos Put a video, you could even put it in the corner and it could be just a description or your expectations or some inspiration for them right there. Or think of it from the student side, a student could be using it as a way to give a presentation or maybe they're giving extra explanation on their slides. So maybe they're not doing a Zoom presentation in front of the whole class for their Google slideshow, but Maybe they are giving out their slideshow to people. Maybe they're doing group collaboration work together and then they could throw a quick video on there and another student could watch it. That would probably be a lot easier than try to type out comments or an email or trying to explain different ways to different students. So now you can put videos on there. Your students could put videos on there and it's very easy. So let's check it out. First, you're gonna need your Screencastify. Now, you may say, I don't have that up there. If you don't, there's the little puzzle piece and you just go ahead and look for it. It'll be in your list somewhere. So possibly it's not highlighted. So if it's not highlighted, you just click it and you see, you know, it'll come up there, but you see mine's already blue. That means it's already up there and it's on top. Now that if you don't have it there at all, then you could just go to your Chrome extension store. In our school district, it's already, it's already in one of yours. You could just search for it, but most likely it's already on your computer. Mine you see already says added. If you click on it, mine says remove from Chrome because it's already there. Yours would probably say install, but you and your students have access to this and it's not blocked or anything from the district. So now all you're gonna have to do is record your video just like I am right now. It's gonna be a little weird because I'm already recording a video. So it'll be like recording a video inside a video but just stick with me here. So I have a new tab open so I could try to show you. Now, you probably just want webcam only where you're just talking and you could have full screen, just your video where you're talking to your students or they're talking to the class, giving a presentation, or maybe they do want to screen share like we are. So you could always watch other videos on how to use Screencastify. So maybe they want to share their whole desktop or maybe just the webcam like we're talking about. Now, once they record something, then you'll see they're recording. Then once they're done, they push that stop button, then it's going to open up in a new window to all their recordings. So here's the important part. You're going to go to more options and you don't want it private because then other people won't be able to see it. You could just pick unlisted and I'm picking unlisted CNUSD. So it'll only be people inside our school district that are signed on that'll be able to see it. Otherwise, you could have unlisted and then anyone who has your presentation will be able to view it. So we have unlisted that changed the privacy settings. So everything will be good in there. Then I suggest renaming this so it'll be something easy to find. Otherwise, you know, you won't be able to find it. So I'll just call it trial video here. Okay. Now you're just going to go into your presentation. So the presentation that you want, you simply go to insert and video. Now, again, you can insert from YouTube and things like we've talked about before, but you're just gonna go to your Google Drive. If it's the last thing you used, then it's just right there automatically. You don't even have to search for it, it's right there. Otherwise, you can search up here. That's where the name comes in handy. You see the video hasn't shown up yet because it does take a few minutes to process because it's going through processing and the longer your video was, the longer it'll take to process. So I'll go ahead and just pick a different video here. So that way we'll be able to see the video. And then I'll push select and it'll show up nice and big for you right there. So maybe you do want your video and you want it to basically be full screen and ready to go. Or you could click on it and just drag it down, make it whatever sizes you want, because maybe it was a video where it's just like me in the corner here, and maybe 
You just want to be talking to your audience and it'll be there. So you could do that, whatever you like, and your video will be right on screen embedded for everyone. So hopefully that helps for you guys. See you later. Have a good night.